Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome to my laboratory. Today, we're going to experience what it's like to be a mad scientist because we're playing a game called Creature Lab. Think of this as Spore meets Frankenstein. We have to make serums that will make mutant-like creatures, and then we can send those creatures out on types of missions. I actually don't know much about the missions because this is my first time playing, but this is a very interesting premise for a game. I've always wanted to be a mad scientist, damn it, and I guess now I can be. Anyways, we have to go make our first mixture now in our little science lab. Very sanitary in here, as you can see. I mean, I, I, I make sure my clients are well taken care of that's for damn sure i love how there's just a femur you know just chilling on the damn table over here this is great this feels very fitting for a mad science lab i have to be honest ah yes a farlic i know exactly what that is and now we gotta pour that into the elmbic i know exactly what that is too kind of wish i could just drink this for science you know but i guess i can't oh my god is, is there freaking bodies in here hold on i mean i know these are body chambers i don't think i can open them up though i'm assuming we'll get there i mean let's just slow down we don't even have a body yet so let's uh start experimentation i guess dude this is so cool i know nothing of what i'm doing perfect find another ingredient to make an elixir okay all right green goo meet red goo and we need an empty flask makes sense well that's convenient because this one's now empty turn it on and let the science commence Oh, dude, this is, this is legit amazing. I'm having so much fun. Find a syringe and take a sample of the mixture. Okay, but this is for the microscope so we can see what's going on in this mixture here. There we go. Let's check it out. All right, well, that's definitely the wrong way. There's things here. That looks nice and clear. Dude, this is cool. And I'm assuming, yes, we... Okay, what am I doing wrong here? I just have to go down further? It's still going up, but it's more blurry. Maybe if I change the sharpness now... Yes, there they are. Doesn't really explain what each of these are, but I'm assuming this is how we, you know, get different stats for our zombies, if you will. You've just created an elixir. Elixirs are created by combining several ingredients and are used to create mutagens. Take your elixir and create a mutagen by mixing it with an elixir from the storage room. All right, so two elixirs equal a mutagen. Got it. Um, I think we have another one here. That looks to be it. Wow, that one's really pretty. Okay, so I don't know if it matters which chamber we choose, but I'm going to pour this one in there and the one I made up top. And now we mix once again, and hopefully this whole place doesn't blow up. I feel like it might, so I'm just going to stand back just in case. <laughs> oh, it's blue. That's nice. Okay, there we go. Perfect. We have a lot more molecules this time. Makes sense. There's double the chemicals in there. Take your mutagen and pour it into the body chamber to start creating your first mutant. So we pour it in this chamber. <laughs> I'm so impressed by this. I can't wait to see what we have to do with the bodies. Uh, should I be uh, alarmed? The Frankenstein initialization failed. We have errors. <laughs> on all my screens. All right, I had to go find where this body is. I'm assuming it's in these things that I saw. Aha! Welcome! This is weird. This is very weird. How's it going, young woman corpse? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, how you doing? Are you having fun? I think you're gonna like this part. You ain't even come back to life. That or I ruined this whole recipe and you're dead. But in retrospect, you're already dead, so it's not like it matters. There you go. Okay, so now we do little beep boops with the computer. And there. I guess we just wait. What's the other side for? We can sedate or wake the creature. That's kind of sick. But we'll fill it with mutagen, because I think that's what we're supposed to do. And initialize. Hopefully now we have a mutant. Okay, take the mutant out and put it in the grapple. Dude, this is this is kind of wrong. This is actually kind of wrong. Hey, you're you're a little more bloody now. I'm sorry. Are you are you growing nails? All right, it's time for the old grapple. This is for well, I was gonna say your own good, but it's probably my own good. Oh my god, you're growing horns too. Jesus. Okay, so we need to grab the DNA now. So I guess we'll just turn this on and what the hell am I doing? DNA sequence? Well, that's a good sign. I'm just going to figure out how to do this. Oh, the, the giant glowing green button that says take DNA sample. Perfect. Oh, thank you. I didn't even notice it. It sucked it out of her. Use a laptop connected to the incubator and start incubating the new limb. Okay, we can either do the right or left arm. I'm, that's a hoof. Okay. Pliers. Oh, we okay. 
So each of these are arms. We get to choose the arm, though, depending on what we want these things to do. I feel like the plier would be really useful. That's going to take three doses, though. Do I have enough? But there we go. Need one more dose. Perfect. And we are starting. And there we go. We have some pliers, which are great for fighting improvement. You don't say. I think we need something with a thumb. You know, thumbs are smart considering we have a giant knife, essentially. You might want that thumb to grab things. So I'm thinking claws. I don't know if I have enough to do claws. So I might have to do the ordinary one because I only, yeah, I only have one left. So I think I have to do the basic one. Let's take this out, I guess. So we'll just store this over here, I guess. There we go. <laughs> And we'll start that process. There we go. An ordinary hand and a, and a swordy hand. Oh my God, we got to place the mutant on the operating table now. <laughs> this is getting really real. I didn't expect how grotesque this would be, but I mean, it's a mad scientist game. So I would, I would hope so. We're just going to put you over here. Don't worry. You're, you're getting some upgrades. You're going to freaking love it. All right. It looks like you need a hand. Oh, God damn it. I can't, I can't even do my stupid joke. All right, so we have to use the computer because, you know, it's 2022 and you can't use OG like Frankenstein-like processes. So use appropriate buttons to detach the selected limb and then remove it from the table and replace it with the limb from the incubator. This is gross. This is true. Okay, well, we're going to remove that and remove that and start process. Okay, I'm actually glad there's a black screen for that. There. We okay, well... Yeah, we're done with that one. We'll just get rid of... Wait, wait, what the hell do I do with this? There you go. <laughs> Not sure why I made this one, considering it's the exact same as the, the ones that were already on her. But you know what? Whatever. It's all the juice that I had left. Attach. And now we make it battle to the death, right? Look at that. So cool. <laughs> Put the mutant in the stasis chamber. Okay. Put in stasis chamber clothes panel. <laughs> My God. It's time to learn how potion brewing works. Go to the laboratory and analyze an ingredient there. All right. So it's the pestrulic again. We've already analyzed this, but I'm assuming this is what it wants me to do, right? Just use this again. Yeah. Cause we're analyzing obviously. Each substance has different molecules, which determine its properties. This is an ingredient, so it only has a single molecule. You don't know which one. It could be any out of the ones listed in the properties window. Oh, this is very confusing. The next ingredient's the exact same color. I'm going to so get these things confused. But yeah, we have some Eberway here. Okay, almost and done. This is also ingredients. Notice that the whatever symbol is listed as one of the possible molecules. Looks like the opposite of the other symbol you saw in the last ingredient. I remember that. At the moment, it's unclear if the symbols is really present in the ingredient. To find out, mix the two ingredients in the Almbic. Okay. All right. Somehow two greens made a yellow, but cool. It's a sludge. Don't worry. This is good news. It means that the two ingredients are each other's opposites. By this deduction, you can safely assume that they contain both of these respectfully if the ingredient had two different molecules they would mix and produce an elixir not a sludge oh man there's a lot to remember in this game sludge only forms if you try to mix opposite molecules how does this help me though to know what the molecules is you can find more ingredients in the storage room mix them together until you produce a mutagen mutagens require at least four molecules and one of the four molecules must be an activator can you figure out which symbol is the activator experiment until you create a mutagen if you need a hint, check the whiteboard on the office. I've already looked at that. It's 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 it's, it, it's not gonna help, man. Okay, after a lot of microscoping later, I have at least analyzed every single ingredient in the my storage room. I've had to actually write down in a notepad what the possible molecules are to figure out which ingredients I need. Hopefully, now that I've actually written this down, I can figure out where, where to go from here. All right, so first thing I think I want is Kikofran. That has this as a possibility. Now, I looked at all my other ingredients. I don't think any other has this ingredient, so I pretty much can guarantee that that is what we need, Kikofran. But just in case, I'm going to try any other ingredient that has this and see if we can make sludge. If we can, then that tells me that Kikofran has it in it. Now, what I didn't think about is this uses the full ingredient, does it? Yeah. So I... Uh-oh. I can't screw this up. Uh, that being said, Kikofran's the only one with multiple vials as well. So I can pretty much guarantee this is the uh, activator that we need because it's giving me chances to do errors here. But 
I think we might get a sludge here. This ingredient could be wrong, though. So let's just try. And we got an unknown. So that is not a sludge. So this isn't the correct ingredient. Let's just see what's in here, I guess. I guess it doesn't matter what elixir I use. So I can just use this as an elixir as long as one elixir has the activator in it. That being said, though, we need all four ingredients, right? Huh. This is way harder than I expected. I'm just gonna store these for the time being. Okay, let's try this again with another possible ingredient. We got Buggo Buggyin uh, and the Kiko Fran once again, because we know that this is one of the activators. Please give me a sludge. I only have one chance after this to find the damn activator. And we have an unknown number three. Great. So wait, if they're both unknown number three, they're the exact same thing. That's a bad sign. I used two different ingredients and got to the same ending. Am I totally doing this wrong? Well, let's find out. This is the last one with a possibility of it being uh, the sludge worthy opposite. I have gotten unknown number three again. So is unknown number three it then? Because I got three unknown number threes now. At this point, I've resorted to just being a true mad scientist. I've been too busy analyzing my damn notes, and I feel like the notes are just a waste of time. So I know the Wu Harry has one of the ingredients that we need, and this other one has another one. I'm hoping if I combine those together, that's all I need. And when we combine these two elixirs together, we'll get a mutagen. I don't think it's going to be that easy, but I think I've ruined everything because I have so many empty vessels now. Unknown number six, how do we go from three to six? All right, well, it's got the possibilities that we need in it, so that's good. Uh, it's it's risky, but I think I'm going to try and combine these together just to see what happens. Unknown three and unknown six. And this is where I explode the entire science lab, but it's okay. I never said I was a scientist, clearly. Okay, we have unknown number seven, which is an actual mutagen. So did I overthink that? Could I have just combined anything together? I thought there was a specific thing that I needed and maybe I did actually do it right. Isn't it fun shopping for bodies? I think I'm gonna take the businessman, you know? What happens if I put two in here though, you know? I mean, I have the one side. Can I open up the other side? No, I can't. All right, buddy, here you go. We're just gonna switch this on and fill you up with unknown seven. Hopefully I did this somewhat right. Well, it was successful, so that's good. We'll sedate. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, you're definitely looking more mutant. Like, what? Didn't you have a suit on? What the hell happened to you? All right, just got to do a quick DNA sample, bud. There you go. It's just a prick. You'll be okay. Thank you. And we're going to do the optional quest. Let's get you some extra limbs. Okay, so I think I'm going to give him the giant claw only because that takes four vials and I have four. And we haven't seen the giant claw yet, so that sounds exciting. All right, so here you go. Left or right? You're probably right-handed, so let's give you the claw on the right hand. Start that process. There we go. It's, it's really quick, oddly enough, to build limbs, but uh, that's cool. Oh, it's not anywhere as big as I thought it would be. That's kind of lame, actually. Oh, it's incompatible DNA? Compatible DNA. Compatible DNA. Hmm. Well, it still let, let me do it anyways. I don't remember if it was incompatible or not before. Uh... I hope you're okay. You, you uh, wait, what, what the hell just happened? How, how did you lose a lot? Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I must have accidentally clicked that. Um, huh. So I did do something wrong with the DNA then. That's okay. I guess this will be uh, a, a trophy of mine and we'll have to make you a basic mutant because I screwed up the DNA sequencing somehow. Okay. Well, at least you're all in one piece now, I guess. I feel like I really screwed that up somehow, though. Uh, open panel. Open. There we go. Get in here, man. And close. Open the secret desk to reveal a hidden game map and use it to plan your first invasion. Okay, this is where we actually use our mutants. This is getting exciting. Um, I didn't even know this was up here. I thought this was just went to my science room, but no, I have an office. Oddly clean, considering the rest of my place was so freaking bad. Uh, all right, so let's go plan for world domination. It should be fun. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was ha, ha, oh, that's So cool. All right to start a mission select the district and then press the mission button Choose a mission type from the drop down bar at the top finally click start mission and enjoy the results All right. Well, I guess we'll do slippery hill because I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now Um, is this how we get more bodies? Like what is this for? I, I'm so intrigued 
Oh, I could do anything. I can require more substances, more bodies. I could fight the military. Let's uh, let's just spread the infection in typical zombie fashion. Probability of detection, 78%. I'm a, I'm a bit of a gambler, so I'm willing to try. And oh, do we actually get the watch? I thought it would just be automated. It might be. I don't know. Yeah. Ah, Jesus Christ. God damn it. <laughs> Go, my zombies. Oh, my God. Yes, I knew you'd use that thing. This is so weird. I love it. Oh my god. All right, and there you go. That is Creature Lab in a nutshell. I have to say I'm impressed with the complexity of it. I'm still kind of confused about the elixir making. So uh, yeah, definitely we'll probably play through this again just to try and understand. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's always fun when you can be a mad scientist. If you want to know anything more about the game, I'll have a link in the description. And yeah, thanks so much for your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.